Hey everyone, Camille here from 88 Fitness Training. Today I'm going to show you how to target the lower abdominals for that six pack look. Stay tuned, check it out. So we get a lot of questions all the time. Hey Camille, hey James, how can I target that lower belly area? Well, first of all, abs are made in the kitchen. You guys know this, you have to be an appropriate body fat level in order to show those abdominals. But that aside, there's always things that you can do to improve the actual abdominal muscles to have a more defined six pack look. You know, it doesn't matter how much you diet, if your muscles for your abs aren't developed, you're not gonna have that rippled six pack look. So, I wanna show you some tips today on how you can target that lower abdominal region specifically. And so let's go ahead and get into it. All right, number one thing I wanna show you is posterior uh, pelvis tilt here, hip tilt. So a lot of times when you're working that abdominus rectus, which is your six pack abs, they actually go from top all the way to bottom, but a lot of people don't have appropriate hip tilt to target that. So if you're laying flat, you shouldn't have excessive arch in your back. You see how I can stick my hands under my back? I shouldn't be able to do that when I'm training abs. My belly button and spine should be flat and pushed into the ground. That's a posterior hip tilt. You see it there? So there's an arch, there's a gap. We wanna get rid of that, bring it in. So a lot of times when people are doing like leg raises, they have this arch under here, which means they're really just using hip flexors. They're not using the lower part of the abdominus rectus. So to get rid of that, tilt your hips back so you're flat, I can't stick my hands there, then bring the legs up, just like that. That's also gonna protect your back and build a stronger core. So just like that. If you're not at that level, do the version with the heel tap. So keep the hips back and tilted, bringing the heels down just like that until you can fully stretch it out. And I'm gonna show you uh, a hanging version of this posterior hip tilt next. So just like the leg raises on the floor, the same thing's gonna apply to hanging leg raises. If you've been watching our videos, you know this is one of James's number one or at least top three exercises for those six pack abs. But same thing, a lot of times people are just doing this and they're using hip flexors. They're not using the abdominus rectus. So if you want to fix that, focus on that posterior hip tilt. See that right there? Relax, tilt, and then bring those legs up. And once you can control this, truly control this, only then are you working that abdominus rectus muscle for those lower abs. Well, I hope you enjoyed these tips on how to build up that abdominus rectus muscles. And so next time you're doing abs, especially leg raises or hanging leg raises, your first thought should be posterior hip tilt. So work that in and I guarantee you're gonna get those results that you're looking for, that nice defined six pack ab look. For more videos like this one, definitely check out our stretching and abdominal playlist. And as always, like and subscribe. Camille, 88 Fitness Training.